Right. This is um, a quick sketch of Mr. Gregory. I mean, this guy is a great speaker. Just going to try and quickly do this in my free sketching style. So first thing is to get, you know, the shape of his head. Um, and then I'm going to be looking at angles. So it's a lovely angle there, a lovely angle here, um, a lovely angle here, and a lovely angle there. Just trying to get the, the top part of his head. And now face down here. And yeah, that's the chin level. And I think if, if, if I can, I'm going to just run this. So what this what I've just done here is the overall shape of this overall shape. Now let's separate the hair, the hair from the head, you know, let's separate the hair from the head. This is so important. The hair, all the hair, the beard and all that. We just want to separate it from the head. So that's what we've done very quickly there. That gives us a nice feel. Now the axis, so important, this axis, that's the middle part of his head. And I'm just going to rule somewhere where approximately I think the eye would go very quickly. And then where the nose will go. These are quick sketches. I want people to be able to just, you know, not waste time, but very quickly just get some sort of, you know, um, just a... Uh, I would say the essence of the sitter or the essence of the, the person you're sketching very quickly. So I've just gone straight into nose mode there, you know, just very quickly into nose mode. Okay, the eyes, I'm going to just put two just circles, you know, very quickly, just knock that in, one on this side and one on that side. Everything just quickly facing out, um, eyebrows, um, just nicely put in. And then he has the most descriptive brows. Now look at that, man, that's... That's where character sits, okay? And then here, I'm just gonna block in a shadow pattern, like a lovely shadow pattern. It's just the most amazing shadow pattern. There's one on his nose. These are all like shadow patterns that I'm just looking for because they are areas where, you know, it's just pure dark. And I've just gone for the side, you know, there. Now, I wanna try and get his eyes in. His eyes have a way of just, you know, falling you know they're not like straight and then underneath we have this lovely bit here and lovely bit here and that's it just underneath we're going to keep that together that's in the eye and then the, the, the little bridge of the eyelid there and a little bridge of the eyelid here okay and um, slowly and steadily we're going through this i hope you're following just to see how this whole thing comes together right let's get some of the mustache in just to block that in i'm going where the lip is and the mustache in here and under his um, mouth there and there's a shadow pattern let's go for his um, a little sh um, shape here there's a little shape there and there's a little kind of opening here where you know this is i just want you to get into the hang of you know sketching freely without no fear that's it can i just get your pencils moving freely without no fear by the way i'm using a lira i just gotta show you there a lira um black colored pencil i also have um uh, uh this one i think is a poly um, a albert durer polychromous black faber castell these are the two materials i'm using i love colored pencils um that's that's just for you know right let's go into this um whole thing again now i'm going to quickly block in all the things that i think now have lines that i think are dark like from the side here the beard actually should have weight so i'm darkening this side and darkening that i'm also darkening this side a bit I'm darkening inside here. This is just line drawing now where I've gone past the level of um, the light lines. These are dark lines, okay? Dark lines where I think there's weight. Um, sometimes when I was in school um, in Nigeria, we would just do a whole life drawing based on just lines. No shading, just lines. And that really taught me the power, the power of lines just the power of lines so that's kind of like what i'm using here even though so you're going to see some real dark lines coming up on this whole thing and it's some somehow enough to be descriptive enough to bring out this uh, man and his um, facial structure so you know just going on really strong okay so you can see here just going through this home the, the motions of this just making sure everything kind of sits well um, inside here. So I'm really working on the darks, really working on the darks. And this is a freedom that um, I'm trying my best to um, get you to understand and to get you kind of really, um, I would say, immersed into my sketching process. Now, 
I think at this stage, I have a nice feel on everything I would say. Let's just quickly put in his um, uh, tie. You know, there's just some, you know, a few things like his tie. A lot of this work is immersed in dark, okay? There's a lot of dark. It makes it really interesting. This whole area is dark. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to run with the broad stroke. This is what I call a broad stroke. You can see me using the side of the pencil. This is what I call a broad stroke technique. I've got it now, and I'm just going to go broad stroke. It's like painting strokes. I love drawing this way, and I love to use the colored pencil to do it. So here we go. I just want you to see how you can quickly, with the broad stroke, paint almost like with this colored pencil, and it will feel right. It feels right. You know, it just feels right. I'm just gonna remove this because it's creating an unnecessary texture that I don't want, but it's gonna feel right. All right, so just go and sharpen that pencil there because all of a sudden it snaps. You must have heard that. Right, now that I've got a hang on that, I'm just gonna go straight into the face and I'm gonna get this broad stroke again just by, you know, once I get it, I feel it on the pencil level and it's the side, I can just go in. So here we go, the darks. The dark in the eye, right here, strong dark. The dark hair, strong dark. So I'm just going for all the darks now. I like to just go for darks. Um, it's a real, um, well, I would say one of my favorite ways of dealing with anything like this is just to go for all the darks. So here we go. And I'm doing it with the broad side of the pencil, just the broad side of the pencil. If you can just always think of this like a brush, think of the pencil like a brush and it will make proper sense all what I'm trying to do. So here we go, the broad side of the pencil, just going in, smashing, snapping. <laughs> okay, I think I'm pressing too hard, so I've got to, you know, get a little bit light on my pressing. Okay, but let's continue, right? So I've got that, got it back where I want it. Okay, and now we're going in again, just broad strokes. This is free hand sketching, no mumbo jumbo. This is just a way I love to attack a drawing in a painterly sense. These areas are really dark. Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna use my other pencil just to save time. Broad stroke again. This one I can go softer. All right, so you can see me covering all the darks. All the darks. I've just changed to the Faber-Castell, yeah? Just all the darks. What this does, it quickly separates the um, painting into the right values that I need. And that's so important at this stage of the drawing, so important. So important, just so, so important at this stage, just to block in everything, just to block the whole thing in, into a dark. I'm going into his hair now, even though it's not a full dark, there are some areas which are dark in his hair area, like that. All right, so I've gone into all this in a, a kind of like broad, dark way. And remember, I'm just using the most basic colored pencil for this, nothing more, just simple colored pencil. I will shift to other mediums later on, but I just want you to see how we can utilize this lovely medium in a broad stroke sense, you know, and just work with it and just see the miracles that it does just when we use it on its side. I'm using the side of it. You can see how I'm going on the side. So I'm moving across. Now I've got most of the darks in. That's, that's kind of like me happy with that. I'm just going to go over this and really darken this. Just really darken. Strong dark here, strong dark here, and strong dark all on this side. You can see how the broad stroke just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Just helps me to get things in order. I'm gonna knock in the background now, a little bit lighter than the, the jacket he's wearing. So I'm really gonna make this side darker so that that one would not be as dark. Where is this texture coming from? Hold on. I think it's, uh, it's that, I can't avoid that. It's an normal skin. So okay, I'm going into this now. Just going here, playing around with this. Colored pencil, just free hand sketching that you can just quickly and just quickly find a way of doing it and it's not as messy as charcoal that's the other thing it's not as messy as charcoal and you can you can get um, lovely results all right so there we go now let's go i think i've got all the darks in i'm just going to darken this a little bit more just a little bit more just a little bit more all oh, this you know just darken with the side all the things that need to be dark it's just great to just block in all the darks. It's a, just a nice feeling. And boy, does this guy have darks on his face here. Like, wow, really dark. So I'm really honing on. This can give you some darks that are as strong as charcoal and it's not that messy. And you can use this in a powerful way. Just look at how rich this whole drawing is becoming. 
Um, I don't know if I've used 10 minutes or so. So I want you to know that you can do this so quickly and effectively. And that's what I'm trying to bring out, you know, get some sketch addicts to really understand how this can be done in the simplest of forms and the simplest of ways. Just, just doing this with freedom. I think freedom is the key word. Freedom is the key word. That's the key word, freedom. Now, let's go to the midtones. I think I've done enough on the darks. Hold on, let's just get that. Let's get that in there. A lot of them. Now, let's go to the midtones. So the midtones, here we go. They're going to be lighter. I'm not adding much pressure. And I'm just going to go inside every place that, you know, every every other place in the in the painting, you know, because at the end of the day, I think that's the bulk of what we've got. Our midtones, you know, just lovely midtones. They're just great. Even this beard on this side is a lovely mid-tone. Look at that lovely mid-tone there. Great stuff. All the way through, great stuff. Lovely mid-tones. Lovely. I'm going to darken the hair over here so that stands out. You know, that stands out. Just darkening anything to just bring out the contrast. That stands out. And let's start to gradually add some of the moustache in. This is not a neat thing, so they're a bit scattered. So you can see me making sure that looks that way. It's a bit scattered, but underneath here, it's dark. This all leads to the curly beard. So you can see me going in circles now. Just lovely circles, lovely circles. This is just to create the texture of his beard. That's the texture, that's all I wanted there, the texture. And all this is dark, all this is just strong darks, strong darks. There's some lovely abstract shapes. Remember, I think I touched this picture up with Procreate, so, you know, um, that's why you're seeing all these funny bits and pieces. But again, texture here texture here it gets bright here it gets bright here and then over here we start to see some more darks on the side of his face look at that those darks they just come in under here you see that area there lovely quick way of sketching i just want you to see how effective this can be now i'm just going round and round and round on this just very quickly making sure um, i capture this man's essence great man this great man had some real gems to drop, man. Real gems. I just love listening to the guy. Just common sense, down-to-earth wisdom. I'm telling you. Common sense, down-to-earth wisdom. He drops 